Okay, I got a good bottle. Let's see. Oh, my dad's crossing the creek there. I don't know if he's going to make it. We are back out here in the woods today. I'm gonna look for some bottles and the rest of the 1700s or 1800s syrup I found. So let's get to it and see what we can find. Okay, I got a good signal here. Last weekend there was three inches of ice, so that helped the signals get better. And this place has been detected 23 times, so. I don't know how I missed that. Showing up as a dime. Three inches deep. Let's see what we got. Probably something good. Okay. Better be because my hand's freezing. It's below freezing right now. If you see the camera shake, I'm sorry. <laughs> got something. Uh. It's very green. It looks like a just a brass washer. It's right there if you can see it. So uh, we'll see y'all at the next hole. Burr. Okay, y'all gotta check this out. I just got a good uh, uh, dime signal here and then it would bounce the iron and I told my dad to swing over it and uh, it showed up as foil on the Ace 250 and I dug the hole and I thought it was going to be a bayonet, that's what I was wishing for, but it's a pocket knife, a wood pocket knife, the wood board is still in there. Look at that, it fell out right there, it's, oh check that out, it has a metal hook on it and it's wrapped around that root. The root went right through it. So we'll have to cut that. So that's pretty cool. Well here it is again. The wood board's missing on that side. That's too bad. I looked for it in the hole, so it was already like that. But uh might be old Boy Scout knife or something. It still has the wood on it. That's unbelievable to be preserved that long. Who knows how old it is? Might be one hundred years old. So let's go put that in the tackle box and we'll buy a display case for that. Oh, I just found this barbecue thing over there. It's pretty cool. I have to keep that. Well, I'm over here while digging out the fire pit where I found that stirrup. Haven't found anything yet. I've dug most of the place up. Just looking for stuff. So we're going to cover it in and go explore some more woods and see if we can find an old home site. Oh, well, we're scouting new land here. This would have been a good place to camp. There's the hills and the flat land and the creek all the way around in a circle. But um, right here, I got a quarter signal, nine inches, and I haven't even found it yet. That rock was on top. But I dug up an arrowhead chipping. It's the first one I dug up in uh, 2011 here. And, the, and it's the first chipping I've ever dug, dug up. So it's pretty cool. Creek right there. Well, we found a homeless man campsite. That's where they camped. And look how many times they threw their knife into the tree because they're bored. Out here in the middle of the woods. This jar was here too. They found that and they found that barrel at the house. Okay, we are scouting out land I've never walked foot on in the middle of nowhere and off and all of a sudden come across a bottle dump and I mean it's an old one I see an old 1940s coca-cola on top of the ground but the problem is a homeless man lives right there that's his shelter and he used it not too long ago might be his bottles but we're gonna go check this out 
Look at this. Stoneware. That's one of them two-tone jugs that Bill Ladd finds. Man. Look, there's the rest of it. That would have been one heck of a find. I mean, it's a definitely old dump. Milk of magnesia. Look. Old Coke. Crown top. That's what we're looking for. Ketchup. Uh, ketchup. Look at that. Them are some old roller skates. Mason jar. Look. There's a whole bunch of stuff here. I'm gonna definitely have to dig this out. There is some weird stuff. Now that would have been nice. Looks like a lid. Man. Look at the old stoneware. Okay, let's check out. I hope he's not in here. There's a pot he cooks on. No, it's been vacant for a while. But we found that bottle dump, so let's get digging. Well, it's just on top of ground dump. Somebody came and dumped all the trash, but I just found this top to a ball mason jar. I don't break it. So that's a good find. Well, you'd think there'd be a house nearby, or a driveway. But I walked all the way down there, nothing, so... It's hard to tell how these bottles got here. But, I just found this here. It's a, a jumbo peanut butter. It says, the Frank Tea and Spice Company, Cincinnati, Ohio. <laughs> I've never heard of that. That's pretty cool. And then I found this. It's metal, down there in the woods. Nice little teapot. Well, the only thing I'm going to keep out of this dump is this Dixie grape bottle. Never heard of it. Full label. The hospitality drink. Hey, you walking across the log. Okay, my dad's crossing the creek there. I don't know if he's going to make it. <laughs> well, you don't fall. Oh. Short sight. Yeah, I walked across. I don't feel safe. Here, I'll get on with you. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Come on. Huh? It's not going to break. Yeah, but my shoes are flat and slippery. It's only a six feet drop. Oh, damn. Oh! <laughs> Let go. <laughs> okay, come across. Ah! <laughs> okay, we're at another bottled up here beside the old house. I dug that out last weekend. 1960s stuff. But it goes down about a foot. And it goes all the way down here. And over here, I've been finding some old RC Colas. They're the first ones. But uh, there's a pond bottle I just dug up. Got my probe. And then, I just scraped out a cork top. So, that's nice. Nice old cork top. Bottle. We just gotta find a complete one. Okay, I got a good bottle here. You can see it. I don't have my hand trial with me. I left it at an old home <clears> site. <throat> but it says London on the side here. My dad dug part to an insulator right there. <laughs> so hopefully we'll find something old. Trash dump. has a whole bunch of writing on it. Foremost, you gotta be kidding me, it's a milk. Oh, God! Man, that's one milk bottle there. Wow, big 
design on the front of it. Man, that's the best bottle of the day. That's awesome. Hey, dirty face. My dad just found a nice castor oil bottle here. It says, uh, Dr. Kilmer's. Oh, I can keep it in my hand. Swamp root. That means swamp root. That's pretty bad. Two good bottles so far. Well, there's some more broken glass. Check out this. That will blind you. Look how blue it is. Blue porcelain. That is nice. Ah. And I'm digging out this area here. Oh, I just found a broken old bottle here. You can see. Oh, let me come over here. You can see the mold line goes up and stops right before the neck right there. It's around 1900. Early 1900s. So that's pretty cool. Too bad it's broken, but I got a bottle right here. There's a broken Coca Cola. And I think it's something good. Hurt. So let me dig it out. Okay. Let me dig out this bottle here. I don't know. There's something right there. Get the glass. That rock around it there. Dig it around here. It's a broken uh, screw top, 1930s through 1960s liquor bottle. Nothing in it? Nope. <laughs> All right. Let's keep on digging. The boy loves dirt. No <laughs> doubt about it. <laughs> Come on. Wait. I'm not ready. Yeah, we are. Old square nail. bottle there. <laughs> Where'd you get the big shovel at? Come on, let's go. See y'all next time.